Representative Freiburg, thank you for joining us here today. Thank you. What do you do for a professional career, and can you share a little bit about your life outside the Capitol? Sure. Uh, I'm an attorney for a nonprofit that works on public health policy. Worked there a little over seven years. It's based out of William Mitchell Law School, which is also the law school I went to in St. Paul. Um, so that's been a fun job, and I feel like it prepared me fairly well for working here um, as a state representative. Um, as far as my life outside of here, um, I have two kids, ages one and four, a daughter named Rose. She's the four-year-old, a son named Joseph. He's the one-year-old. He was born just 10 days before the election, so I got to deal with new baby issues while also working on this new job here um, since I'm in my first term. Um, play the piano. Um, I enjoy following the twins and Vikings. Can you describe the district you represent and tell us what your constituents care about? My district includes all or parts of the cities of Crystal, Golden Valley, New Hope, and Robbinsdale. Um, you know, I think there's a lot of a lot of younger families, a lot of families who li who've lived in the area a long time. You know, I think the concerns of the people in my area are similar to a lot of people around the state. They want a good education system for their kids. They want a reasonable transportation network so that it doesn't take them, you know, an hour or two to get to their jobs. Um, they want decent health care. They want good infrastructure. What do you see as the biggest challenge the state will face in the next 10 years? I think we've made, you know, uh, last year I might, have I might have said education. I feel like we've made a lot of investments in education, but I feel like uh, in the next 10 years, I think transportation will be, a b will be one of the bigger issues. Um, I think expanding the light rail uh, network around the metro area is very important. Um, my district in particular would benefit from the Botano light rail uh, transit corridor, and uh, that's something I have supported and will continue to support uh, as a state representative. What area or areas of legislation do you feel like you are best equipped to work on? Well, my day job is in the public health field, so I feel like health care is one area um, that I'm equipped to work on. My committee assignments have sort of landed me in the areas of the environment and the functioning of the government. Um, I'm on four committees and they both focus in those areas. So I'm learning a lot about uh, the environment in particular is a newer area for me. Um, having been on the city council in Golden Valley for nine years before taking this job, um, I feel like the government area is an area that I can work in. I was named vice chair of the government operations committee. Um, so um, that's an area I feel like I have some expertise in and have been able to, that I've been able to put to use um, on those committees. If given the chance, who would you like to be for a day or who would you like to exchange roles with? I would say the conductor of the Minnesota Orchestra. So whoever that ends up being, hopefully Osmo Vanska will come back. So that's been on my mind. I was very happy to hear that the, there was a settlement in that dispute. But uh, play, play the piano, so um, music is one thing I, I really love. It's one of my original passions.